So here we're looking at defining our own beam cross-sections. So I've just brought in a beam here that you can see from Space Claim where I converted the geometry over. And if I go ahead and click on the beam, you can see there's no cross-section -se defined. So and we don't have any options to go in and select a cross-section. Therefore, what we want to do is come up to Model, right-click, Insert, and come down to Cross-Sections. Now we have some standard ones that are fairly common. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the high beam section, and you can see that that brings up a new Cross-Sections tab in our outline. Now, if I have this profile view selected, by default, it will bring up a display with dimensions, and those correspond directly to the dimensions over here in the details section. For example, if I change W3 here to 15, you can see it updates in real time what my new cross-section looks like. So, if you have a table that may have need with standard cross section, you're easily able to define those as such and match the geometry accordingly. So now with my new cross section defined, that will show up here in the outline section. I can come back and reference that if needed. I can go back up to my beam, and now when I look at cross section, I now have the I section that I defined previously available to me.